Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Varteta Learning Platform and uh, today we are going to see that how we can uh, get the handle of a thread of a window thread and uh, then uh, how we can pass a message to a particular application. Okay, just like you can see this calculator application has been open in front of you. So this calculator uh, window has a thread associated with it. Okay, we need to find out that particular handle of the thread to which we can send the message. You know, in the previous video, we learned that every window, every window has an associated thread. Okay. And this associated thread with the window has a virtualized input queue. Okay. This is called the virtualized input queue. So uh, when a message appears in the virtualized input queue, suppose when you are sending a message like you have to close the window, then what message you will get? You will get WM close. So if you get this message WM close, in that case, what happens that this associated thread processes this message. It processes the message and this WM close is an indication that this thread need to be closed, which means this calculator thread need to be closed. And as soon as this calculator will be closed, the thread will be closed, the associated window will automatically get closed. So ultimately, every window is in fact handled by a thread, right? So let's see if we can send a message to this calculator and can close it. Yes, we can close it. So what we will need, we will need a handle to the thread and that thread we need to send a message to that thread. Send message is the function which is used to send a message to the thread, window thread. And uh, that thread needs the handle which is basically the handle to this particular thread which is associated with this window. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. Here is the function that I have already written for you. There is the code, not function. I have written this code for you already. So windows.h has been included. And here I have uh, opened the calculator here. This is the calculator. And I have uh, find out the uh, handle for this calculator window. So find window is the function using which you can find out the handle to the associated uh, thread. Uh, which uh, which is related to this calculator window okay and then here i have checked whether my handle is null or not if calculator is not opened then in that case it should display a message that there is no calculator window opened no calculator window opened and after writing this this will simply exit okay so let's see we have already opened a calculator window let's see if we can close it let's run it and if you have to close it you need to pass a message like you have to pass a value uh, in response to this do you want to close the calculator? In response to this, you have to uh, you have to pass the value capital Y. Otherwise, it will not send this message to close. So here, what we are doing, send message is taking four parameters. First parameter is the handle to this window, and the second parameter is the message, where the message should be WM close. WM close is the message which will be placed in the virtualized input queue of this particular window the calculator window and then uh, the next argument is the w param which is basically not needed here and this last argument is also not needed here so i have passed both as zero because this wm close is simply a message which is uh, there to you know uh, just close this particular window this calculator window and these two uh, are the parameters uh, which are passed to the window as a message Suppose you want to pass some uh, data to some thread. In that case, you need to provide this w, w param and L param values. Okay. 
So we will see in the next video what about the W param and L param. But in this video, we are just going to uh, see how we can handle a calculator outside the you know uh, outside the calculator application. How we can send a message to it and how we can close it. Okay, so here we have find out the handle to this thread, which is handling the uh, basically the virtualized input queue, which is associated with the thread associated with this calculator. Okay, so you need to pass the name correctly for this application, which is the calculator. So keep a note of it. You need to pass the correct value, and then you just need to pass this send message wm close. Now, if you run this. It will ask you if you want to close the calculator or not. And I'm providing the value Y, capital Y. And you can see that as soon as I provide this value, this calculator should get closed. Let me open it again. I think this was open previously in the previous session. So that is why it is not closing let me just run it again okay now it has been closed okay so that was opened in some other session after closing the application before closing the application I opened that so that is why the handler was not able to get okay, so I just need to open a new instance of my application and then it started uh, then it, then it uh, closed the calculator window so every time now if you open it it will be able to close it every time. Just provide yes and it will close it again. You can see that this calculator is gone now. Okay, so similarly you can close any of any of the applications that you have opened, whether it's notepad, whether it's calculator or whatever application you have opened. So that's it uh, for today. So this was a small exercise based on the understanding that we made in the last video, which was related to the virtualized input queue. Okay. And how the virtualized input queue get the message and how uh, the associated thread processes this message. We have already discussed in one of the videos like how the messages are processed using the get message function. There is a get message function which takes the parameter like msg. msg is the structure against which it uh, checks the values. It takes the msg it uh, contains the L param, it contains the W param. This is a structure. This is a structure basically contains L param, W param. So these L param and W param, basically these are the data structures. These are the variables which are used. L param and W param. These are the data types which are used. So basically these are nothing but the pointers, basically void pointers. So both are void pointers and uh, if you want to pass something to your thread, some data to your thread, then in that case, you can pass the values in the W param and L param. So in the next video, we will see that how we can pass the values uh, to these threads and one thread uh, can send the message to other thread and then how that thread can handle the message. Okay, so we'll meet in the next video. Till then, uh, keep watching uh, my videos, keep sharing my videos and please like this video. And be with me, I, I assure you that you will learn best of the concepts in the Windows programming in C, C++, in Visual C, if you are with me. And uh, you should be with me and you should keep watching uh, my videos. And uh, please, uh, I, I'm creating these videos uh, with a lot of uh, efforts. I'm collecting the data. I'm collecting the information from everywhere, whatever experience I have in Windows programming that, I, that all I am using. So I request you all to please subscribe my channel and share these videos with your friends and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for any new video that I upload here. Okay, so have a nice day and bye-bye.